Corfu has become the latest Greek island to issue evacuation orders as the country grapples with a series of devastating wildfires. Boats have been dispatched to take people to safety by sea. On the island of Rhodes, 19,000 people have been forced from their homes and accommodation. Three hotels there have reportedly burned down and many others are in the danger zone. This is the damage at one hotel in the town of Kiyotari. And some fires are still burning. These pictures are from the Turkish Ministry of Agriculture, taken from one of their rescue planes, which are helping to fight the blazes. Well, many people spent the night in temporary accommodation like this after being evacuated from hotels. Others have been forced to stay in public buildings, such as halls and schools. Louisa Pilby reports. Fires have made roads a holiday hell, flames turning skies red overnight. British holidaymakers are among those fleeing for their lives. It literally felt like we were in some sort of apocalypse film because the sky behind the hotel was lit up bright orange and red. The hotel was abandoned. There was just things, you know, sort of people who'd been by the pool, stuff has been totally abandoned by the pool, suitcases abandoned in the lobby, on the beach. There wasn't enough coaches to move 800 people, but the fire was coming, the smoke was coming. So we all set off on foot. I walked 12 miles in this heat yesterday. It took me four hours, along with 800, seven or 800 other people. We were told to go to the beach because there'll be boats coming. This happened four times, and then they moved us off the beach. Carry on walking, keep moving away. Many took to the roads either evacuated by coaches or hire cars. 16,000 have left by land, 3,000 by sea. It is the biggest evacuation from wildfires Greece has ever seen. At Rhodes Airport, huge queues as people wait days to be evacuated with little food and drink. No clue what's going on. There's been absolutely no communication. All we've heard of flights to take us out are from the news. Jet2 and TUI have cancelled flights to Rhodes, but airlines are flying British nationals out, with two repatriation flights organised by EasyJet leaving today. The Greek tourism minister called for perspective and said the island's fire service was in control. We remain very vigilant. Uh, our very brave uh, firemen are working around the clock to ensure that uh, the fire uh, doesn't uh, get out of reach. Uh, as I said, currently it's 10% uh, uh, of the uh, island in Rhodes that has been affected. The Foreign Office has sent a rapid deployment team of five and four British Red Cross responders to Rhodes to help authorities with bringing British tourists back home. But now Corfu, another popular holiday island, is on fire. A blaze broke out in the northern part of the island, which is popular with British tourists, and an evacuation order has been issued. With the Greek Fire Brigade now forecasting fires will break out on other islands, including Crete, the nightmare on the holiday islands rages on. Louisa Pilbeam, BBC News.